Today I'm working on an 06 Equinox. I'm going to be replacing the alternator. First thing I'm going to do, take out the oil cap and screw the whole unit. Pull that out and lift this whole plastic thing up. It should just come up. Screw the oil cap thing back in. Then I'm going to disconnect the battery terminal. I already started loosening bolts. Lift this up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I already took the battery out. We ain't got to do that step because I already took the battery out. Next, I would disconnect the negative cable on the battery, but I forgot I've already taken ours out completely because we replacing the battery in the alternator. I'm going to give myself some more space. I'm just going to take this air box, plenum them off. Disconnect it here. Pull these hoses off. Mass airflow sensor. And um, pull this whole air box out. Or PCB line. Pull that out. I unplug this. Map air oh, airflow sensor. I got it out. In order to get it out, you got to go under it. With the flathead. Pry this gray piece out first. Once you get this out, you just squeeze the back of it. Push down. That'll pop out. In my case, it's an 8 mil. Got two clips. One here. And I already did the other one on this side. And this should come up. If I'm not mistaken. Come up and out. Set that to the side. So what I did was I went ahead. Took out that 10 millimeter. So I could pull this out. Pull this out. Get hung up on everything. Because what's happening is I'm not getting enough leverage on the tensioner. So I need to pull down towards the radiator. And I couldn't pull down enough because that was in the way. Just take the top part of the belt off. Only the top part that way. When you go to put it back together, that should be all you got to do to put it back on. So I got the belt off. Now you can go ahead. Right on top is a plug. Let's see if I can get us some light. Disconnect that plug. Pull that boot back. take that nut off I don't know what size it is but yeah let's get those two parts off so I got the electrical plug out in the connector mine was a 10 mil the nut the electrical connector you just push or lift up the tab and pull it out but you got one bolt here on the side, down at the bottom, and in the back, one at the top, one on the other side. All of them are 15 mil bolts. I don't believe that last bolt is going to come all the way out because the bolt going to be too long. So when you get it loosened by hand and you can actually pull the bolt up and it drops down, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to leave it in the alternator in order to remove the alternator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three bolts out and pull the alternator out. Yeah, I was correct. Got one short bolt. This long bolt is the bolt that came out down here. And then the one in the back. See me lifting it up. As far as it'll go up. You got to pull the alternator out. So I'm assuming when you put it in. 
you gotta have that bolt in before you install it. I'm gonna have to take out this one 10 mil bolt. I could just release the pressure here, pull that line off, and I'm gonna just take that bolt off, take this whole thing out, move it up, because that's what's not letting the automator come out. Now we got us a little bit more space. It should come out. So I got the alternator out. We already matched it up in the beginning. And yes, it do come out through the top. It look easy. I'm telling you now, you're going to be cussing. You're going to be throwing stuff. But it will come out. You're going to have to twist it. You definitely going to have to twist it around. That's that boat I was talking about. As you get it out, I'll just put it back in there. But as you get it out towards the top, you could remove that bolt. But that's where the two bolts that go in mount to. So now we're about to get the other one in. All right. Got the alternator in. Hand tighten as far as it's going to go by hand. That way I'm not ratcheting forever. When I got all three bolts started, I'm going to get them tightened down. Okay, we got the alternator in. So I tightened down. I went ahead, put the plug on. Put the uh, power connector on and plug that EVAP in. Also, this uh, PCV valve, if yours moving around like this, nine times out of ten, you're going to have to trace it around and feed it back. But other than that, we just got to put our air box back on and we'll be all done. All right, we got the belt back on. We can go ahead and lay the air box back in. Feed this in with the little prongs down into them little holes. The circle piece going up open. And bolt it down with the one 10 mil up here. Now you can go ahead, put the top half back on. Line these up in the little slots there. And then put the intake part back on. You will see a little cutout right where that go. You can tighten that back down using the eight millimeter. Plug the EVAP in or PCV, I should say. Mass airflow. Don't forget your little clip. You got the little white clip in down there. Now all I gotta do is install the battery. Still gotta put that cover on. Actually, we can put the cover on now. Remove the oil cap sit the cover on top it's got little slots it sits on push it down and this holds it on the other side all right so I went ahead and dropped the battery in got one side on gotta get the negative connector on then I gotta drop this hold down strap on So that the battery don't be flopping around. Now I got everything installed. Battery box is in. Cover is on. Air box on. Alternator installed. Belt installed. Let's see if it start up. As you can see, the car is running. It took me a while to get it started. Unfortunately, we had a security key fault. So I had to turn the key to the on position. And there was a light up under here. It was half, half car, half lock. I had to let it sit for 10 minutes. Turn the key off and then the car started up. This ain't our first rodeo with these security codes. But gotta let this thing charge up. But other than that, it starts up the run. 06 Chevy Equinox. Alternator replacement. Comment, like, and subscribe for more.